After a gap of almost four and a half years, the Indian Army has resumed its patrolling activity in Demchok, and it will soon start patrols in Depsang. Tata Group is exploring the possibility of locally manufacturing the Pratt & Whitney Canada PW127G turboprop engines that powers the C-295 aircraft. US has imposed sanctions on Lokesh Machines Limited for supporting Russia's military industrial base. The RDO has placed an order for the fabrication of 12 units of the three interceptor missiles of Irad's system. Bharat Electronics Limited is all set to secure 2,500 crore rupees order for the Aswini low-level tracking radar, and 2,000 crore rupees for the Atulia forward area air defense system. Navantia has started integration of its third-generation AIP system on the S-83 submarine of Spanish Navy. China has started deployment of new J-15B ship bond fighter jets from Chinese Navy's aircraft carriers. The Vice Chief of the Indian Navy has said, that the next upgraded version of the Tapas drone with more powerful 220 horsepower engine will be much better. High-ranking officials have told the media, that the initial allocation of 15,000 crore rupees will likely be insufficient for the full development and production of the AMCA aircraft, especially considering the technological and infrastructure challenges. Achieving fifth-generation standards like the F-35 and J-20 will require significant funding well beyond the current 15,000 crore rupees budget. Industry estimates suggest that the entire life cycle cost of the AMCA program could surpass 60,000 crore rupees. That includes research and development, prototype testing, engine development, production infrastructure, and the eventual large-scale production of operational units. Aeronautical Development Agency officials have said, that the raffle serves as a benchmark for engineers and designers involved in the Tejas Mark II project, and the Tejas Mark II will exceed the performance of the Mirage 2000, and closely match the capabilities of the highly regarded raffle in several key areas. The Tejas Mark II program is progressing steadily with a planned rollout by the end of 2025, and a first flight scheduled for 2026. German shipbuilder ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems has informed the Indian Navy, that its lithium-ion battery technology will be installed and validated by around 2028. The lithium-ion battery system is being offered as part of the proposal for India's Project 75i submarine program, and is set to be integrated into the T-214 next-generation stealth submarine design offered to India. Today's Top 3 Comments <laughs> 